Sometimes the next great leap in Nerf, or in this case, Boomco performance is right under our noses and we don't even realize it. Hi, I'm Ben from 498 Nerf and today we're taking a second look at the Spinsanity. Okay, so here's what I did to the blaster. The flywheels uh, are built with three in three parts. There's an outer and an inner plastic rim, and then there's a rubber piece in between them. And the problem with the spin sanity is once the flywheels get going up to a certain RPM, that rubber expands and pops off of the little the, the little clips or the little um, nubs that are in here that hold it in place. And that caused it, once you got up around to running off a 3S LiPo or something along those lines, caused that rubber to pop off and then it wouldn't shoot anymore. So what I did with this is I took the flywheels apart, super glued them, the three pieces together, super glued the rubber down to the back plate, and then super glued the top plate onto that, and then clipped the whole thing together. Did that for both flywheels, uh, reinstalled them, uh, rewired the blaster so that it uh, ran off of four IMRs, four, four uh, 1450 cells instead of six. And that's it. That's all that was done to it. That performance getting around 132 feet per second out of the blaster comes from just upping the voltage to a 4S level voltage and gluing the flywheels together. There's no multi-stage flywheel on this. There's no... Uh, any kind of a hop up or any kind of a, an initial pushing through, the, the, it's just simply um, gluing the flywheels together. And, you know, and I think the reason you can, we can get this kind of performance is you've got rubber on rubber. With it. You take one of these Boomco Dart tips and it's a very rubbery, uh, and then the, the rubber piece of the flywheels as well is very rubbery and that grabs and I think you get a little better coefficient of friction than what you do off of, a, off of an elite Nerf dart. And you can get elite darts up to around that to a one, low 120, almost to 130 range. So it's possible. Um, but this seemed to grab, uh, shoot consistently, and do very, very well. So anyways, this blaster has been around for well over a year. And sometimes we just, we overlook things. Uh, anyways, um, so this modification uh, is an excellent modification. Glue the flywheels together, pop it up to about 4S. Uh, I haven't rewired this thing yet. Um, an interesting modification, maybe take it up to a 4S LiPo with a full rewire, full switch replacements. And I may get to that at some point in the future. I may also try it on five IMRs and see if it gets any better performance. Um, one other thing to note, uh, the motors on these. Uh, the magnets on them, I don't have a good way to quantify this, but the magnets in the motor seem to be very strong. I had a, a, a Rhino, um, MTB Rhino, and I had that this motor out side by side, and I had a piece of metal that was beside them, and it grabbed the piece of metal out of my hand where the Rhino's only kind of pulled it a little bit slightly. So there's some pretty hefty magnets. These are pretty decent motors uh, that are in, in the Spin Sanity. Anyways, this is the second look at uh, uh, the Boomco Spinsanity. Um, thanks for watching.